Come on. Comstock House is up ahead. The seed of the Prophet shall set the throne. He was grooming, wasn't he? Comstock? Yeah, I think so. Why lock me up? I'm guessing he didn't want to be... Want to hold on to this? Catch! next to me, it won't be to parley. See, I went out to that hall of heroes to scalp your false shepherd for you. Turns out, though, DeWitt speaks Sue. He helped me to swap words with this crippled child I've been, uh, looking after. Now, after hearing how the kid has fared in your city, I'm thinking when we take your pelt, I'll let him hold the knife. Think what a year can bring. He's washing dishes and baby clothes. He's so ambitious, even I see so. Him. I don't tear your head off! Get the
found some money. Want it? Cash. Hmm. That seems right up your alley. Looks simple enough. It's done. Elizabeth. Should we check out the bookstore before we leave? Here we go. Stairs. Show yourself. Sally! The bastard snuck in while the box was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet, he keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it, but... to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy but probability but his money means the lutes field could become the lutes tear a window between worlds a window through which you and i might finally be together this 
It's a simple dual dial. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. This might be it. Open this. It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. This might be it. Open it. Sure thing. Why are you so keen on lockpicking and code breaking? If you put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you... Promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right?
I keep thinking about that dream that you had. New York on fire. There's something about it. Beyond that gate lies Comstock House. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think, I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. There's the graveyard, where my mother's buried. Watch for your point at that. Have her preserved in an airtight chamber. The fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. The mother who abandons their child. doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment. Think about it. There. Do you open the door or do I have to go in without? How are you, Mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. You see, child? You chose to follow a false 
shepherd, and he has led you astray. What I do, I do for love. What liars does not cringe to see their covenant pain, but spare the rod, spoil the child. If you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother. Elizabeth, are you all right? No, but where, where did she go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. <laughs> Is she alive or dead? Why do you ask me? Do it! Okay. The question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. They're sarcastic. There's something. Oh, about Lady Comstock. Yeah, if I noticed. No, you don't understand. She, she doesn't belong. I brought something for you. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. Picking. Oh, this won't take long at all. All done.
What did you mean? Or when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. She's a reflection. Um, I don't know. Yet, we are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But my brother and I are together, and so I am content. He is not. The business with the girl lies unresolved. But perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead.
Want to hold on to this? Here. Need money? Here you go. Fifty percent. What's that? Fifty percent of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. I gotta get me a job in the profit business. Nice!
some money. Want it? We're dead. Elizabeth. Let me see. Got it. But you two are dead. I took your funeral photo. Yes. Of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. To come across so lifelessly. Anyone who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. I'm just some specimen to be poked at. No, you are not. Elizabeth, listen to me. What you've been through, and nobody in the world deserves that. Walker. We are getting out of here, you got it? You're never gonna have to look back. <laughs> 